What's going on, everybody? Deal or no deal here. Bringing you some team deathmatch on Summit. My class setup for today is the FAMAS with the suppressor. I think the Makarov pistol. I don't use it though, so don't remember exactly what it was. I also have the Semtex grenade, concussion grenades, and the Claymore. And my perks are Ghost, Sleight of Hand, and Marathon. Now the reason why I'm using the FAMAS is because I just watched a video from C Nanners and he had nothing but good things to say about this gun. So I decided to try it out for myself. And I completely agree with him. I have also fallen in love with this gun. And the reason why is because it has nice irons, very easy to use, an awesome rate of fire, so you tend to win gunfights, but it's also accurate, which is very important. And uh, right here we have a little hoax mig migration, but uh, don't worry, it's very quick. Um, I'm kind of new to the uh, video editing software that I have, so I couldn't really figure out how to speed this part up. But um, with time, I suppose I'll build up on my video editing skills, so my videos will become nicer quality. But um, I wanted to mention to people my little uh, recording system. Now, as I said before, I have a Dazzle, and that's how I record my footage. Um, but the TV that I play on is not HD. And I don't have HD cables for my PS3, so there's no way for me to record in high def. The TV that I play on is an 18-inch CRT TV. And uh, for people who don't know what that means, it's a TV from the early 90s with one of those huge backs and roundish screens. And um, it, it's definitely not as nice as HD, but I work with what I got. And, um, I looked into it, and unless I have, you know, HD TV and the cables, there's no way for me to record in HD. So, this is the best quality I can give you at the moment, but, uh, with Christmas right around the corner, maybe things will change. But, if you do notice, the quality of my voice is better, and this is because I bought a brand new mic. I listened to some of the feedback I got from the last video, and my voice wasn't too clear on that. I was using the built-in microphone on my laptop, which did not give me great quality at all. So, I went online and I ordered a brand new mic offline, off of Amazon, and it came in within two days. So, I have this, recording new gameplay with it, and um... Just let me know how it is. Let me know if it was worth the purchase or if I should be looking for another mic. But the main topic I wanted to talk about today, which I know a lot of people have been talking about, is sniping. I have tried sniping in this game, and I cannot do it. I was used to Modern Warfare 2 sniping and World at War sniping, which are both similar. Um... What I don't like about Black Ops sniping, the zoom in time is great. It's just, there's the huge amount of sway you get when you first look into your scope. And even if you fire a bullet, the bullet doesn't go where the crosshairs are. And in previous games, your, your crosshairs would be pinpoint where uh, your crosshairs are when you're running. So, the little, um little lines would zoom in, and that point would be where your sniper uh, point is. But it's not like that in this game. And I'm really not used to it. It really slows down my sniping, and I get killed most of the time. In Modern Warfare 2, I was one of those snipers where um, if we both saw each other at the same time, I could probably get you with uh, quick scoping. Wasn't wasn't crazy with it. Wasn't trying to like rush into spawns or anything, but it was more of a... Um, I guess it was more of a panic sort of um, option. But no luck with me in this game with sniping. So I can't do it. Just gonna stick to all the other guns. But I wanted your opinion on it, whether it was a good idea or a bad idea. You know, some people claim it's more realistic, and some people claim that it made sniping useless. 
So, what do you think? I would like to know. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I really like to uh, get people's opinions on this. And uh, let me discuss the gameplay a little bit since I've failed to mention that so far. My kill streak setup is the spy plane, napalm strike, and attack helicopter. Um, haven't really changed this up at all because I feel it's a good setup. It's worked well for me so far. Um, I tried the RC car out, RC car out, and it was nice, but doesn't really do anything for your team. A spy plane, you get to see all the enemies, so you can get multiple kills. Helps building up towards your next kill streak. And the RC car won't do that for you. And also, since everyone else on your team is using the RC car, I think I'm the only one using spy plane. At least that's what I feel like. So we need some radar sometimes. I feel like if you own the sky, you own the game. <laughs> And uh, the napalm strike works well with the spy plane since I can see where the enemies are and plan my attack accordingly. And uh, same thing with the helicopter. And there are also kill streaks I can reach. Haven't really gotten the full hang of this game yet, so I haven't been able to get high kill streaks. Once I do, I would really love to get the dogs. Love to release the hounds on my enemies. They were vicious in World at War. My favorite kill streak. And, uh, oh, I tried to go a little commando on them, but failed miserably. But yeah, the dogs are very vicious in this game. Kill with one bite now, and are smarter. So, I would love to get the dogs. Might have been able to do it this match if I had them, but... Oh well. And, um... So yeah, um, video's starting to wind down here. As I said earlier, the FAMAS is a great weapon. Would love to see what you guys have to say about sniping. And um, my final score for this match is 27-7, and seven, which is one of my best scores in this game so far. So if you like the video or dislike the video, please give me feedback. It really helps me with uh, making my next video. Um, leave a comment below with some feedback. It's nice to hear from people. And, um, if you like this and would like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.